Um, my name is Sonia Kelleher Combs, and I'm from Alaska, born in Bethel, raised in Nome. I think it was a series of uh, life experiences growing up, you know, living in a family that, um, you know, we relied a lot off um, living off the land and using materials um, and making, you know, objects for, uh, to do, um, to create, you know, uh, clothing and, um, you know, utilitarian art objects and things, and I guess that kind of influenced what I was going to do. Um, I went to college. I thought I'd be a lawyer. And um, I took an art class and uh, never looked back. So I became an artist. As um, an Alaska Native artist, I um, am a Nupak and Athabascan, which um, most people would call Eskimo and Indian. And um, uh, the cultural background that I come from definitely impacts and influences the work that I create. Um, I consider myself um, not only an Alaska Native artist, but a, a a uh, woman of color, uh, or an artist of color, um, and many different things influence the work that I create, um, from things like subsistence activities, gathering food off the land, um, creating clothing and beadwork and uh, jewelry work, things like that, that all influences the work that I make. Um, the work behind me is called Bold and Idiot Strings. And idiot strings, my mom used to say, you can't lose your mittens, so she would make us these strings to tether our mittens so that we wouldn't lose them and so that when we were working out in you know the the winter weather we could tie them behind us and they wouldn't get lost and um, so that's the imagery for the piece um, conceptually it's um, based on a couple different ideas the tether is metaphorical for staying connected and not forgetting where you come from and who you are and where you belong and your place in the world um, connections to land and nature and each other and also, um, originally when I first started creating these works, they were memorials to um, three of my uncles who had committed suicide. Suicide is a huge issue in um, many different populations, but particularly in Alaska Native populations. Um, Alaska Natives are three times above the national average to commit suicide. So I wanted to create a work that addressed these issues, and that's what this piece is about. Um, this piece, um, Idiot Strings, Gold Idiot Strings, is um, uh, made from, wal um, not walrus, but um, sheep and reindeer rawhide, um, which when I make it, I stitch it wet, soak it for a while first, and then I stuff it with um, plastic to um, create a husk-like form. It becomes hard um, and maintains that mint shape. The rest of it is composed of wool um, and beeswax and wire, um, the armature that holds those mitten forms. So uh, Pink Slips is a piece that is based on the stretching of skin and hide um, and reminiscent of a garment. I've done a series of pieces that are dealing with social ills and one of them is the abuse and um, um, psychological, emotional, physical abuse of children and women. And so these pieces are um, addressing these issues. This is actually a synthetic skin. It's not um, um, marine mammal or any kind of, there's no natural material within it. So it's strictly a paint skin, which I create with a gel medium and acrylic polymer. Maybe there's a little paper and a little bit of um, fabric um, embedded in some areas, but that's what that piece is about. And, um, takes probably, I'd say, four weeks to create one of those fully, so, yeah. You know, the series of drawings, I think that something that's interesting to me is the, you know, I also do this handicraft, these smaller works, um, jewelry, and, you know, these kind of little portable secrets, these pouch forms that I become um, jewelry or amulets and things like that, and the drawings are kind of like a, a link between those. They, you know, they're more intimate, small works um, that Maybe I'll do multiples of those. And the same with gray curl, which is the long um, gray installation. Those pieces are um, smaller works that become a part of a larger work, similar to you know, the role of an individual within a community or a family. And so they're all similar, but none of them are exactly the same. And that's kind of the commentary on these multiple pieces. Um, I'm not really, when I'm creating the work that I make, I don't have a specific audience in mind. 
Um, I think the most important thing to me is that um, it shares, you know, what's important in the message within my, the content within my work. And I've always told the story that once this, the work leaves, leaves the studio, you know, that conversation is done. That piece is ready to leave. It, it doesn't belong with me anymore. And, and I'm hoping that it's reaching um, a nice broad audience. I'm really honored to be, you know, here in LA in this space and being able to um, share a part of who I am and where I come from. As a kind of parting idea is I'd like to thank, you know, people like Susie Selick, my family, you know, my grandmother, my mom, you know, all these people who have really influenced, you know, and made me who I am. And I believe that every, you know, step that you take, you know, and it doesn't matter which direction you're going, that makes you who you are. And so, these, you know, whether it's positive or negative things that have happened to you, you can learn from those things and you can, you know, grow and, um, and share your experience with the world. And I, you know, that's what I want to do is, um, and just tell people it's all okay. You know, we all have all these things that happen to us, but we can persevere and, and we will.